Hello and welcome, Bill Sklodowski here. Thanks for joining me for What's New Wednesday, tips and tricks to make your iPhone and iPad just that much more fun and cool. Uh, every Wednesday we do this at eight o'clock. Please feel free to uh, tell your friends and colleagues and share it with anybody else that uh, might get some benefit out of this. And then of course, iPhone Friday coming up uh, Friday, same time. And uh, we're up to the D in our iPhone A to Z. So we're still working on that. If there's a D item that you're interested in, um, feel free to send it along. We're always open for suggestions. Uh, tonight, though, something that I get asked about in class, back when I used to teach class, uh, in class <laughs> a lot. I'd still love to be teaching class, but, you know, well, there's that whole thing going around. So, but one of the things that a lot of folks ask about is, how do I get those pictures of my grandkids or my dog or whatever on my phone as as the wallpaper, as the as the picture behind all the apps, okay? So, now, did you learn something there? Was that a brand new thing? The picture that's behind the apps is called wallpaper. And if you didn't know, that came or comes from the computer world where the picture that's on the screen in front of you is called wallpaper, which always struck me as kind of weird because they also call that the desktop where you do your work. You know, the Windows or the iMac desktop where you work, but then your desktop has wallpaper. It's one of those Twilight Zone things from computer. Never mind. Uh, today, how do I get cool pictures that I take to be wallpaper on my phone? So we're going to dig right into that. Now, let me tell you, let me give you one little heads up on this, and that is your iPhone gives you two different ways you can use a picture as wallpaper, okay? It can either be the wallpaper that's literally on your screen with the apps, and they call that, they call that the home screen, Okay, and even if it's this, you know, even if it's inside a few screens, it's still called home screen wallpaper because it's the same every every time you change a uh, which call it every time you change screens, it's still the same wallpaper. But also, there is the wallpaper that can be used when the computer uh, when the phone is off, and you you know when the first time you touch it to start it up, I know it looks kind of weird on the screen there. You'll see it better when I turn it on on the computer. But there, that's also wallpaper that's on the lock screen, okay? Now, typically you don't see that very often, especially if you have an iPhone, you know, 10 or 11 that you pick up and it recognizes you and it automatically goes to your home screen. But there might be a time where, you know, somebody else picks it up or you pick it up and it doesn't see you right away. There's going to be that chance for wallpaper there on the lock screen. Okay, so two different opportunities to use wallpaper. And those, by the way can be different. So you can have one wallpaper that's just on the apps, on the home screen, and one wallpaper that's also on the, um, on the lock screen. Then they can be different. Let's talk about getting a picture onto there, and I'll tell you both ways to do it, okay? So first things first, let's jump over to the, uh, let's jump over to the phone here, okay? And um, now, as you can see, wallpaper, right? That's the wallpaper on my phone. And as I flip, and all I'm gonna do is, you know, slide side to side to side. As I flip, flip side, it's the same picture behind it the whole time, right? So the wallpaper is the same on the home screen, right? And then I think if I try this, no, it doesn't, I can't, there it is. There's the wallpaper on the lock screen, okay, where it says down at the bottom, it says press home to unlock, and then normally I would just put my finger on it, and it would unlock, er, it would unlock and come back. I didn't have my finger on it right there. How do we get a photograph? All right, let's go to the camera, of course, because we need to take a picture, right? There, there we are. There's, there's my office. There's the Mac. There's whatever. Let's find a willing uh, model for tonight's, uh, for tonight's uh, wallpaper, shall we? Oh, I don't know. There. Oh, look who's here. <laughs> it's our buddy. Did you notice, by the way? I'm wearing. You can't really see it. I'm wearing. I'm wearing his shirt too, by the way. I know you, you can't really see that. So there's Wiley, our mascot, and all we're gonna do is take a picture, right? And you probably want it up and down. In other words, you want it lands, uh, uh, excuse me, portrait mode, which is the, the tall version. You could do it this way, but it'd look kind of weird when you tried to make it into wallpaper. So, all right, there's Wiley. And we're going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to kind of shoot it down. There you go. We'll just take his picture. Doink. There you go. So we've taken his picture. And if you go down, by the way, if you, go, if you ever notice this with your camera, down in the bottom left corner there, the last picture you've taken is always a little itty bitty thumbnail that shows down there. So if I tap on it, 
There's y of e. Perfect, right? So at this point, you can do a lot of stuff with this. You can edit it and you can change all kinds of things, but that's probably another lesson for another day when we talk about photo editing, P for photo. So right now, I just want to give you the whole thing about setting this up as wallpaper, okay? So now that we have Wiley's picture on the phone, look down again in the bottom lower left corner, all right? And you see that square down there. Wish I could make that bigger, but that square down at the very, very bottom, hard to point to, very bottom lower left corner. It looks like a square with an arrow pointing up out of it, okay? That's the share button. And that could be a whole class in and of itself of things you can use the share button for. But basically, it's a way to send information between apps on your phone or off your phone as a text message or a, a, an email or any number of things. But it also does a lot of other stuff that you might not be familiar with. So if we tap on the share button down at the bottom, okay, a few things are going to come up. Now, there's the first thing you see down there are the list of people that I could share this to with a text message or an email. I've got myself in there, got, you know, my girlfriend in there, the fabulous Miss Lori and all that. So there's a lot of things going on there. The other thing, of course, are the apps right under that. So I could make a, a, a note out of this or send it as a text message to somebody. But keep scrolling down because it gets better. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And look, right there, use, use as wallpaper. That, er, I need a better pointer. Use as wallpaper. That's the one we want to do. So tap on that, okay? And there you go. There's Wiley as in a preview of what he would look like as wallpaper. Now, like it says at the bottom there, you can move that and scale that. What does that mean? Well, if all I do is I put my finger on it, I can move him around to get him into a better position, right? And the scale is also cool because if I take a big wide picture, but all I want to do is focus on a certain area of it, if you put two fingers on it, two fingers and you pinch or spread them, pinch or spread, you can zoom in and out. All I'm doing, let me bring that over. All I'm doing literally is out, in, out, in. See what I'm doing? And then I can position him to where I want. And when I get him where I want him, all right, I can hit the set button down there in the lower right corner. All right? So let's do that. If I tap on set, now here's where you get the choice of how you want to use this picture, okay? I can set it as the lock screen. Remember I said that means when, the, when you pick up the phone before it goes over into your account before it opens up, you know, after face ID or fingerprint ID, the lock screen or the home screen or both. So your choice. I can set it as the lock screen, the home screen or both, you right? So for me, let's just make it lock. Let's just make it lock screen. So I'm just going to tap on lock screen. It's going to take a second. And when it goes away like that, it's done. So now I'm going to push the home button, go back to home. Now notice Bill, I thought you did wallpaper. I did, but I said it as the lock screen, not the home screen, right? So if we turn the phone off, and all I'm going to do is press the little uh, power button on the side there. Phone goes off. All right, I know you can't see it here, but when I bring it back, it'll show. All right, and I tap with a finger that's not part of my fingerprint ID, and I bring it back. There he is. There's Wiley on our lock screen. And you can tell it's the lock screen because it has, it's got his, oh, come back. It's got his, it's got the time and the char battery charge and all that stuff up there. And then again, now all you got to do is the same thing you would normally do to bring it, uh, you know, up to running fingerprint ID or face ID or whatever, and you're off and running. But remember, this is the important thing. You can set that picture to be either the lock screen or the home screen or both. Now, you know, I'm not so sure Wiley as, uh, as home screen here would be really good, but let's try it and see what happens. All right, so I went back to photo, and by the way, what did I do there? I don't want to get ahead of you. All I did was I went over to my photos, photos, tapped on photos, and there's Wiley is the most recent picture I took, right? So they're under recent. I can just tap on him. There he is. Same trick. Share button, lower left corner, right? Scroll down, wallpaper, all right? And now he's already the wallpaper, but if I tap on set again, it's going to say home screen, lock screen, both. Your choice. I'm going to say both. What the heck? All right. Set both. It's done. And now when I go back to the home screen, guess what we're going to see? Yep. There he is behind the, behind the apps.
doesn't really work, does it? <laughs> no. I always, I always see picture like people always have their like the grandkids or the dog or something like that with all these apps over all the top of them. It's like, yeah, you know, I, I hope you enjoy it. It's, you know, it doesn't really make the best artistic statement. <laughs> but with the Witcher, with the with the lock screen, okay, all right, nice. Wiley doing his lock screen thing. Okay, there you go. That's going to do it for today. I wanted to keep it simple. Oh, let's get back. There we go. I'm going to have to put that back now. Oh, if you change your mind, by the way, you can always go back to photos and pick another one. And just let me, now that I'm on this, let me finish this. If you go into settings, our favorite, right? The big silver gear into settings. There is a whole section. Scroll down, scroll down. There it is. Wallpaper. There's a whole section for wallpaper. And if you tap on that, all right, it's going to show you the one you're currently using, YLE, right? But up at the top, see it says choose a new wallpaper. And I can tap on choose there. And now it's going to show me all my pictures down there beneath it. But it also has the built-in ones. Those three across the top are the built-in iPhone ones. And that's just an example. You can tap on any of those. So far, for example, tap on the, uh, on the live ones. All right, so now I've got those three there, or I can go back and tap on stills, and I've got all the different colors, and I've got some flowers, and I've got the earth and the moon and all that stuff. All right, the thing is, no matter what you choose, no matter what you tap on, let me tap on the blue one here, all right? No matter what I choose, I always come back to this screen, and then I can say set, and then I get the same choices all over again. Do you want it for lock, for home, or both screens? And I'm gonna leave Wiley where he is on the lock screen, protecting the phone. But on the home screen, I'm going to set it to this blue. It's going to change. Setting, setting, setting. Done. And as soon as it just kind of goes back, and when I hit the home button, it's done. There you go. All right. It's going to do it for today. Quick and easy. My favorite. Quick and easy. I love those, right? If uh, you have suggestions or questions or comments or would like to learn a specific something about your iPhone or iPad, well, please feel free to leave a comment, either here on Facebook where you're watching it, uh, if you're watching it on YouTube, if you're watching it on the blog over at BillSklodowski.com right there. You can just leave the question wherever you happen to see it, uh, wherever you happen to watch the video. I uh, watch and respond to all of them. If you uh, watch, I read and respond to all of them. If you haven't yet, <laughs> head over to the website, BillSklodowski.com. Sign yourself up for the newsletter. Every weekend, you get the uh, free newsletter. Uh, with uh, details of the past two uh, videos of the past week, the What's New Wednesday video and the iPhone Friday video, and the free handout that shows you how to do the stuff we did in that week's iPhone Friday video. And I, I have to tell you, by the way, that um, this week we did uh, last Friday's iPhone Friday video was C for calendar, and I literally just took the entire handout that I use in my class when I teach this class for adult education classes. And that was the handout last week. So it was a lot bigger and a lot, you know, more informative than just a simple two or three pages. I think it was like eight pages of handout. And of course, you know, it's a PDF. You could print it and keep it and save it and have it for whenever you need it. So there you go. All right, that's gonna do it. Stop by the website, sign yourself up for the uh, newsletter if you haven't yet. Feel free to share this with your friends and colleagues who will get some benefit out of it and leave a question or comment if you uh, would like to get in on the action as well. We'll see you Friday for iPhone Friday. D is for, uh, you'll have to tune in Friday to find out. <laughs> Take care, have a good night.